Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters of Islam uh, Today I wanted to talk about how we're living out our life as a nation of Muslims and um, how in general ways people have been converting to Islam and people have been turning their back on Islam So uh, Bismillah, let's, let's start talking So on uh, the day of judgment when Allah you step forward to face your Lord to talk to Allah he's gonna ask you didn't I give you a life didn't I give you a life and I let you free to do whatever you want in that life and what did he do he let he let you free to do whatever you want in your life so Allah will ask what did you use what did you do in that life what did you do in the life that I've given you so what did you do in your life? Whether it was living a life of committing sin, or living a li life of doing drugs, or living a life of taking girls, or living a life of uh, not asking Allah for forgiveness, or being arrogant, or troubling your neighbours, or giving trouble to your mother, or your father, or your family, or your siblings, Allah will still ask you, how did you live your life? So you can try to make as many excuses as you, as you can, but excuses, my brothers and sisters, isn't going to work. If you try to make excuses like, when it was time for Asr, for example, and the Adhan came on, oh no, I couldn't pray because I needed to do my schoolwork. I couldn't pray because I needed to finish some documents. There's no, Allah, brothers and sisters, there's no, on the day of judgment, there's no day, no time of repentance, no time of uh, worship, no acts of worship, no excuses. Because on that day, you have your records, you have your books. And in those books is every single thing you've done in your life. So just like when you're in the court and you're about to win the case, the judge pulls out a document full of evidence. If they've seen the evidence, that's it. You're busted. It's jail time if they saw the evidence that you are guilty. So if you're making excuses to Allah while you're talking face to face with Allah, he will hand you your records and you read your records. And see if you're a person of hellfire or if you're a person of Jannah. So how are we living how are we supposed to be living out our lives? We're supposed to be reacting upon the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we're supposed to be living a life of good and we're supposed to be giving to charity and helping people. You know, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the best type of charity is water. And today we're spilling water inside the sink like it's nothing. Like we get water, we get water for free today. Alhamdulillah Allah has blessed us with water. But we're wasting it. So instead of wasting it, why don't you go out and look for someone who doesn't have any water and hand it over to them. Because on the day of judgment Allah will say, how many people have you helped? You'll tell him. He hands you your records. If you tell him correctly, you'll find uh, that in your in your records. If you're kind to people in life, Allah, my brothers and sisters, Allah will pay it back to you. If you're kind in your life, you'll find kindness in your life. If you're giving in your life, Allah will give back to you in your life. All you have to do, my brothers and sisters, is just be kind. It does not hurt you to be kind. It does not hurt you to apologize. Because if you don't like to apologize or you don't feel like apologizing just remember that Allah is all merciful and Allah is all forgiving and Allah loves to forgive so if you're not forgiving people in life and you ask Allah for forgiveness and you still feel guilty or you feel like Allah hasn't forgiven you why not try going to apologize to all the people that you've hurt and come back and ask Allah for forgiveness and see if your heart feels purified Let's see if your heart was purified. Allah will continue to forgive you until the day of judgment, until the horn is blown. Brothers and sisters, you should start living out your life right now. Because the signs of judgment day, minor signs have just passed. And the major signs are coming after the minor signs. We've seen so many minor signs. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that one of the minor signs is going to be a virus. What are we living in today? We're living in coronavirus. He's mentioned that there's going to be a specific virus. 
Allah knows the best. But could this virus, could coronavirus be one of the minor signs of, of uh, the Day of Judgment? It's only minor. Next comes the major signs. There are about 50 major signs before the Day of Judgment. Major. These signs are major, not like these small signs that we're getting. Major, where the whole sky turns black with smoke. Major, where the sun rises from the opposite side. These are major type of signs. Major signs where Muslims will start to dis, uh, start to not follow the sunnah of the Prophet. This is a major sign. Where Muslims will start to turn their backs on Allah. This is a major sign. Where people feel embarrassed to hold the Quran in front of people. This is a major sign. You, the, the day of judgment will hit you on the day like you... Like you won't even realize it. So, my brothers and sisters, when you hear the adhan, turn off or stop whatever you're doing and take a moment to listen to the adhan and get out to make wudu and pray to Allah. If you become sick, you rush to Allah. If you need money, you rush to Allah. If you need wealth, you rush to Allah. But why don't you rush to Allah when you're in a good health or a good case? Only when you need things, you're coming to Allah. So that's not a type of worshipping. You're only coming to Allah when you need stuff or when you want stuff. Allah, my, brother, my brothers and sisters, this is not worshipping. This is just being greedy and taking Allah. You're just trying to worship Allah just for the things he can give you. So this is just you wanting the goods in this life. You're not wanting the goods in the hereafter in Jannah. You're just wanting the goods in this life like the jinn, shaitan. He made the du'a which said, Ya Allah, just allow me to live till the day of judgment. That's all I want. And Allah granted it him. He only wants the goods of this life. So, brothers and sisters, don't be like Iblis. Be like a good Muslim. A Muslim who wants the reward of Jannah and doesn't want the life in this life. Allah put us here to worship, not to uh, want the goods in this life. If Allah gives you goods in this life, alhamdulillah. Allah has blessed you with goods. If Allah gives you a normal life, alhamdulillah. Whatever life Allah has given you, alhamdulillah. Because that, that's what Allah has willed. If you're sick, alhamdulillah. Just say alhamdulillah. And when the jinn is whispering to you, say bismillah. Because if you're cursing the jinn, he'll grow bigger than your house. If you're saying bismillah, He'll go so tiny that you can stomp on him if you were to see him. This is what our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us. And Allah said, do not curse the shaitan because it will only make him stronger. Don't curse any bad words because it will make the shaitan stronger. So instead of using bad words, use good words. And may Allah grant all of you, Jannah, my brothers and sisters in Islam. And may he have mercy on all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.